place. Y'all know God is so good. And Duan, he just has such a powerful testimony. And God loves the humility of man. Hallelujah. That, that God will bless a humble man. He said, yeah. I give grace to the humble, but the pride I bring to a low place. So it's good for us to be humble, even when it comes to our finances, when it comes to our next level. Amen. Well, at this time, you know, this is the sabbatical month for Pastor Derek. And last week, we had an amazing word from Apostle Vanessa Maddow. Yes, praise God for the woman of God. She just blessed us tremendously. And uh, I'm still chewing on that word. Thank you, Apostle. We appreciate you so much. Yes. And this week, we have Minister Chandrika Cook, right now. who's going to come and bless us in the name of Jesus. So y'all give it up for Sean. Yes. She comes to the stage. into the word. Amen. 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 So of course we know that our theme is Philippians 1 and 6 and it's and I'm going to read the message version of this because of course we need something practical and normal. Yes. Right? Amen. Yes. And it says there has never been the slightest doubt in my mind that the God who started this great work in you would keep at it and bring it to a flourishing finish on the very day Christ Jesus appeared. Listen, my topic for today is I got finished in me. Okay. I flourish in insight, strength. I flourish in now insight, strength, and healing. I got finished in me. Listen, if you ain't got no notes, I need you to get you some pens, some paper, because I got some words that's going to really resound and some you can chew on. So go ahead, get your notes. I'm going to give you a little time. Go ahead. Go get you a little piece of paper, a little pen, because I want to make sure that you understand you got finish in you. Yeah. You flourish in now insight, strength, and healing. Yeah. And so that's what that scripture is saying. It says there has never been the slightest doubt in my mind that the God who started this great work in you would keep at it and bring it to a flourishing finish on the very day Christ Jesus appears. Father God, we thank you for this word. God, I thank you right now that you increase and I decrease. Oh, Father God, I thank you right now that this word will reach the hearts of your people, oh God. I thank you right now, God, that you will break, God, the ideology that they can't finish, oh God. We thank you right now that we're in the seventh month of mother completion. And God, I thank you that whatever completed work you have for them, in order for them to get to the end of 2020, shall go forth like never before. Thank you, Father, they will flourish like never before, God, in the finish. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. First, I want to say thank you, Pastor Dean, Pastor Trish, for this awesome, awesome, awesome opportunity to bring the word to the people of God. Hey, M-O-S-C-I family again. I miss you all. I hope that you are doing well. And uh, Listen, I hope you understand that after this message is finished, you will be finished. Amen. 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 Right, after this message is finished, you will be finished. Okay. So let's get into it. So I know you're wondering, okay, like what does finish mean? It means to bring to an end or to a completion. Right. Finish means brings to an end or completion. So today, before we even got started, the sun that came on, Pastor D was like, you need to hear this song. And it was Bata Gop Gop I think I'm feeling that thing ain't right. Girly. And it was, it was, Lord, you are good. And in the verse he wanted me to hear, it said that I got so much on my plate. Pretty much, I'm summarizing. I got so much on my plate, God, and I'm doing everything you're telling me to do. How do I finish the work? Wow. Mm. Because at this point, he's got, if he goes on in the story, if, as he goes on in the song, he talks about how he's in a place of destitute, how he's in a place where he's got a bad report. And he's in a place where he's wondering, God, are you still hearing me? Are you still listening to me? Are you still doing something finishing in me? Because every time I feel like that I'm at the end, something new comes up, and it doesn't feel like the thing that I was working on is being finished. Wow, wow. that's good. 
So <laughs> I was like, man, that's me. <laughs> I have so much going on. I have so much I want to do in the earth. And God has called me to so many assignments and so many professions and so many areas of, of being influenced in that God, it seems like when I think I'm at the end, something pops up and says, no, not yet. So how do we get to this finish? How do we get to this first now insight? strength and healing how how do we get to that place where we need god to flourish something in us and we need to get some insight and we need it now and we need yeah, yeah, yeah. some revelation yeah. we need some strength yeah. we need some healing listen 2020 could have been a butt kicking year already yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. it could have could, could have yeah, yeah. and it, if we looked at the world it looks like yes right, right? right. if it looks like it it feels like it it must be it. Like, mm -hmm. what's the saying? If it sounds like a duck, quack like a duck, it must be a duck, right? Yeah. But here's the great thing about being king of kids. What looks like a duck and what quacks like a duck in the world looks like revelation and illumination right. and yeah. overflow yeah. to the king of kids. Yeah. And so when it looks like everything is at a place of finish, I'm finished being alone, I'm finished struggling, I'm finishing at this own place. When it looks like you're finished, God said, but I got another work for you to do. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I got another work for you. I need you to flourish in now, insight, strength, and healing. So how do we get to this place? Let's go to Isaiah 43, 18 through 19. And I'm reading from the CBS version. And it says, do not remember the past events. Pay no attention to things of old. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I need us to meditate on it. It says, do not remember past events. So we can't remember 2019. It says, pay attention to things of old. Pay no attention to things of old. That means we can't even pay attention to what we used to do in January of 2020. Wow. February of 22. We can't even think about those things. Wow. It says, look, I'm about to do something new. Even now, it is coming. Do you not see it? Indeed, I will make a way in the wilderness, wow. rivers in the desert. Listen, even if it looks like everything dried up, even if it looks like ain't nothing flowing through, God is saying, don't even get to the mindset of responding how you look at your dry places. Understand that those dry places are my new places. Mm. So that simply means you got to shift your mindset from January 1st, 2020. You got to shift your mindset from February 1st of 2020. You got to even shift your mindset from March 1st of 2020. Because what happened in those three months, in the beginning, cannot be the same mentality you go into the next part of 2020. He said don't even pay attention to it. So here's the crazy thing about what's going on in the world. Everybody keep bringing up where we used to be. That's right. That's right. That's right. right? Everybody keeps saying, That's right. oh, you know, we used to be able to do this. But God said, don't pay attention to the used to be. Wow. That's good. A lot of times we get so caught up in the used to be because the used to be feel so comfortable. But God is saying, if you shift, I'll shift you to the most uncomfortable, flourishing place in your life. I'll shift you to the used to be. That's good. So get rid of old thinking. And not linger in your past. Listen, your past is your testimony, not your place mm. of comfort. Your past is the place where your standards were met, but they're not the standards that you succeed to. Let me say it again. The past is the past. Yeah. It is where your testimony is. Right. It's where standards were set, but they're not the standards for your now. Wow, hey. that's good. That's, that's good. good. That's not the standard for you now. You have to embrace the new. I know it's hard. And as a therapist, let me... Let me get a little uh, <laughs> plug in here. It is Mental Health Minority Month. And as a therapist, my greatest thing in July is to make sure that you understand it's time for you to shift into a place wow. where your mind is healthy, just like your physical body. Wow, that's good. We all talk about, oh, I got this, I got this 2020, I got this COVID 2020 on me. <laughs> Right? 20 pounds, right? But nobody said, I got this COVID, COVID mental check in. Because let me tell you, COVID has caused us to be in a place of depression, anxiety, fear, destructive behavior, suicidal ideation. Wow. And why are you checking on how to lose weight and how to 
to walk it out. Can you walk out your mental health as well? Because in order for you to finish, your mind got to be in a finishing state. So the first thing in order for us to get to finish is we got to shift. Got to shift. The second thing is found in Romans 12 and 2. And it says, do not copy the behaviors and the customs of this world, but let God, let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Oh, so now, not only do I have to shift, but I got to surrender. Wow. She said, that's good. I can't just shift, but I got to surrender. And I got to be obedient. But the good thing is, I got to get insight. Right. So I have to go from shift to now I got to get insight. Mm. It's in, and then you will learn to know God's will for you. That's good. That's insight. That's good. Which is good and pleasing and perfect. So we didn't shift in our mindset. And we didn't got rid of our old. And we're trying to get comfortable with the new. And now God says, sit down and let me learn something. That's the old folks. <laughs> let me learn something. So now I got to get inside. That's good. Now I got to be in a place where I'm open to what's uncomfortable. Mm. I got to be in a place that I understand that even though it don't feel good, it's working out for my That's yeah. good. That's good. And it's pleasing and perfect. So that means that even in my imperfections, God is doing something pleasing for me. So you got to renew your mind. Let me ask you this. What do you have that you need to let go of? What's keeping you from the transformation? What's keeping you from hearing God in the transformation that's going for? What's stopping you? So we got shift, we got inside, insight, and the next one is we gotta trust God. Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good, and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. That's a lot of trust in God, because when he don't tell you a plan, yeah. when he don't tell you how it's going to go, he don't give yeah. you no skills. I'm going to say, Abraham, listen, I need you to leave everybody that you know. I need Terrible. you to leave your kin. Take up your stuff. Take up your property. Take up your people right. and go. No north, south, east, or west. I just need you to keep walking. Just, just, just walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just, just walk. But God, nowhere in that scripture did Abraham even question his direction. Wow. But we so intelligent, and we so knowing, wow, and we so aware, and we so hope that we got to know. <laughs> but God is saying, "Listen, I am the author and finisher of your life story. So trust me in my plan of action." So we shifted, we got insight, and we learned how to trust God. And this one is, we got to be dedicated. In order to get to our finish, we have to be dedicated. Second Corinthians 8 and 11 says, Now, finish the work so that your eager willingness to do it may be matched by your completion of it according to to your means. Y'all, y'all ever get excited about something? Like, God gave you something like, oh, God, I got this vision. And I'm about to do S, Y, and Z. And right. God, I got the plan. You done gave me the plan. Oh, I got this blueprint. And you're excited about it. But in the process, no excitement kind of down. <laughs> and you feel like, oh, God, uh, something came up, Jesus. I, I'm tired. I'm tired. Well, God, you still want me to do this? And now you're getting woke up in your sleep, out your sleep. Well, yeah. I still need you to complete this. Yeah. Well, God, listen, listen, Jesus, listen. <laughs> I'm tired and it's not going the way I thought it was going. The way done. I thought. Yeah. But this scripture says the same energy you gave it in the beginning. Yeah. It's the same energy you got to give it in the process, the middle end. Wow, in. that's good. Listen, you that's can't good. be like, God, thank you for the vision. Get excited in the beginning. And when hurricanes, storms, tornadoes come, you be like, I quit. I, 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 I can't do that. It, it must not have been you. No, God, wow. I need that's you good. to give me the same energy you 
to a place that I glorified you and not me. Mm -hmm. wow. Wow. That's good. That is good. That is good. Listen, it's hard to worship God when you be down, mm -hmm. when you broken, when you empty, mm -hmm. and people still put it on you. And God still keep reminding you there is a work to be done. Yeah. In 2020, I don't know about y'all, but hearing about deaths, me getting calls about racial stuff, and hearing black men in my ear crying because they're scared. They're in a place that can be that was the most hardening place I ever thought. But in the midst of me wanting to grieve, in the midst of me wanting to say, you know what, God, I ain't, I, I'm done. No, but when I was in the midst of my empty, I heard God say that you have a, a work to accomplish. That work, I don't know what it is about that word work. We automatically think it should become instant. But God is saying that in the midst of that work, you have to understand that there are some things that I need you to glorify me because somebody watches you. Somebody is watching you. And you have to be in a place that you understand that you're teaching God, you're teaching others how to worship God in the midst. Dot, dot, dot. You fill in the blank when the dots go in. But you have to worship God. Amen. The next one is um, Ephesians 3 and 20. And it's now. We have to stay in the now. 2020 has made us think about everything. But now. What about now? We talk about 2021. How it's going to look at 2020, 2022. We talk about August, we talk about the fall, we talk about everything but right now. And Ephesians 3 and 20 says, now to him, and this is a benediction, so now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we can ask or think according to the power at work within us. Work. I just feel the Rihanna spirit. Work, 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 work. <laughs> Listen, you cannot get to your finish if you ain't doing no work. You got that right. right. You sit up here thinking, oh, God, if I just pray, you go going to make the work come. Wow, wow. God, you just give me a little bit of <laughs> Your rolling on the floor and crying and go get the work done. Stop. Yeah. Here's the thing. We keep asking God to give us stuff, and God is asking us, what's in your hand? That's good. That's good. What's in your hand? God to be our genius and say, God, give it to us. 
Jesus, you didn't give it to me. And so we go back and say, God, I said, God, I'm, I'm, I'm tired and I gave him my offering. God, I just sacrificed everything. Give it to me. <laughs> and God is like, but I gave you everything. Right. You need in order to live this life right. to its finished work when you were born. So stop asking me to give you something and ask me how to teach you something. Let me learn you something. Wow. Let me give you some insight today. Because whatever you need, I already gave it to you. So there's nothing, you're never lacking anything. Wow, that's good. You're not lacking anything. You just ain't work the right work. Wow. If you are a true believer and you gave your life to Jesus, right. guess what? You are not lacking anything. You just need it. Right. So the, the the lack that you're seeking or you haven't comes from you lacking in a place of work. Wow. That's good. Amen. So, in order to get to the finish, we got a one shift. We got a two. Have insight. Three, you gotta trust God. Amen. Four, you gotta be dedicated. dedicated. Then five, you gotta be obedient. Six, you gotta worship. Seven, you gotta be in your name. So, ha, I like this. So, what you gotta do to get to your finish? Can you put that on there? You gotta sit down. <laughs> <laughs> You got to sit in order to flourish in now inside strength and healing. You got to sit there. That's good. You can't keep moving. How can God talk to you when you're always moving? Wow. How can he even work on the things he needs to work on and cultivate you and give you the insight? If you're constantly moving, you got to sit down. Wow. That's right. In the words of the old folks, sit down somewhere. Sit down somewhere. Have several. <laughs> He cannot do the finished work he's called you to if you're constantly ignoring his voice because you're constantly trying to be productive and not sit down to be in sight. Yeah. Wow. He just yeah. said it. He just said it. Yeah. So, right. listen. Yeah. You've been sat down. 2020 ain't did nothing else but sit down. But right. we still talking about work, 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 work. I still want to be able to work because sitting down is uncomfortable. It feels unproductive. It feels like, God, you're not moving in my favor if I'm sitting still. But here's the great thing that Pastor Trish and Pastor D has always taught us as leaders. It's something so powerful in the midst of a salad. When was the last time you worked your salad? <laughs> When was the last time you worked your side? Listen, in order for us to flourish in now insight, strength and healing, we got to shift. We got to gain insight. We got to trust God. We got to be dedicated. We got to be obedient. We got to worship. We got to stay in the now. Sit down the now. Mm, mm. And let God teach you something. Mm. Let him wow. cultivate what's in your hand. That's good. Stop asking him what God give me and ask him to give you insight mm. to what's in your hand. Stop being productive and start having integrity. Your productivity will only produce the fruit of productivity. And guess what? You got to keep producing in order to keep the fruit. Yes. But if you have integrity, you'll sow. The scripture says you'll sow in places you didn't even have to. You'll reap in places you didn't even sow. Wow. That's good. That's good. Wow. What great thing it is to walk into a room and somebody just give you money and you ain't never sold anything. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. What if you went into a boardroom and, and you had heart and you wanted something, but God gave you faith and you didn't even know a person in the room? What if you walked into the store and a person was a multi-millionaire and all they saw was you? But because they saw you and you gave them just a smile, they were like, hey, 
You got a dream on the phone? That's good. Hi, Pastor That's good. Trish. There's a millionaire that's going to fund your dream. Yes. Today, I was in, while we was praying, and I just saw a man saying, okay, I got 100000 What can you do? Come on now. Yeah. 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 They know you. They heard of you. All they said is, I got 100000 and I passed by the Verizon deal, and I was like, mm, okay, Trish M. Enterprises. Mm, uh -huh. And all I saw was people, contractors, coming to you asking, can we do the work just to build a portfolio? Mm, amen. So, that's what I saw. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 MOCI, please, please, MOCI Nation, MOCI President. Let me just say this. We are the finishers. Right. Yeah. God has called us to do a finish work. Now we got to do is sit down somewhere. Amen. <laughs> Father God, we thank you for this word. God, thank you for those who hear it and had a heart to hear it. God, I thank you that they chew on it. God, I thank you that it penetrated them. It motivated them. It inspired them yes, to God. go to another level in you, with you, for you, and by you, oh God. God, show them what's in their hands. Yes, God, give them, teach them how, learn them how to do was in their hands. Yes, God. Father, we just honor you and bless you. In yes, Jesus' God. name, we do pray good things. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo. Yeah. 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 Wasn't that an amazing yeah. word? I received that. Yeah. I received it. Sister yeah. Lad, boy, you were from the spirit. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is so good. He's so good. You said something that was reminding me of something I said to somebody just the other day. Um, and it was, uh, you know, how even Juwan started out, how obedience is better than sacrifice. A lot of times we look at the sacrifice, but all God is looking at is the yes. He like, forget the sacrifice. You think that's something? You think your little $5, your $100 is something? Like, like for you, you talking to the man that own what is it, Pastor? There a thousand cattle, cattle on a thousand hills. What's that scripture? Cattle on a thousand hills, and you you fuss about a hundred dollars. You fussing about spending your time in practice. You fussing. God is saying, I'm not looking at the sacrifice. I don't even really care what the sacrifice is. Come on now. If it's a relationship, if it's money, if it's your time, I don't even care what it is. God is saying, I don't care. Right. I'm just looking at the yes. Mm. That's all I want. I, I don't, Abraham, I don't care that you finna move, move away from all your people. I, I, that's, not, that's not a big deal for me. I just want to know if I can trust you. Mm. Can God trust you Man. to sacrifice? Bye. Praise team. Starting these two services. Lord. God said, I don't care about the time. Yeah. I don't care about how long you're going to be here. Can I trust your yes? Yeah. Yeah. He don't care. Like, he don't care. I'm not a morning person. God don't care. He don't care. Be yeah. like, Trish, I don't care that you're not a morning person. Become a morning person. That's right. Man. Because all I want is a yes That's right. to my will. Mm -mm. We just got to remember that. God don't care what you sacrifice. You don't care who you sacrifice. Right. He just wants you. Right. Give it up for Minister Shanti. Yeah.